All right, this is going to be 7 inch 45 RPM picture sleeve records and picture discs on 7 inch 45s. I did this about five years ago and I still have that video. But uh, instead of just re uploading that one, I decided to just redo the whole thing because that one was done with pretty weak camera so the visual is not very good we're going to start with talk talk it's my life backed with uh, again a game again hands across america sung by the voices of america uh power station Session musicians uh, include uh, some of the Toto, mostly Toto people, Porcaros, Lukather, David Page. All right, special thanks to Quincy Jones. This was from uh, May 25th, 1986. Coca-Cola and Citibank. Next we have my favorite Starship song, 1989's it's not enough. Backed with Love Among the Cannibals, the title track, but I believe this is a promo copy. Yes, it is. So on the promo copy, you have the LP version on one side and the remix on the other side. So the LP version is a little longer, four minutes, 30, 51 seconds. it is. I'll get this one out of the way. This is Bon Jovi from 1984 Runaway backed with uh, Love Lies. I could have just hid that one and not shown it but I gotta have some integrity. Wang Chung Dance Hall Days Uh, backside is ornamental elephant and it's got the uh, lyrics on the back Geffen Records next one is a uh, great cover song Kim Wilde keep me hanging on and this is from 1986 the back the uh, the B side they don't even list it on the uh, on the picture sleeve that's interesting uh, loving you this is on MCA Next one is from 1996. It's uh, Rage Against the Machine, The Ghost of Tom Joad. I was seeing how he, this is why I picked this up. I wanted to see how they covered uh, Springsteen. And Brendan O'Brien, the producer, did some Springsteen stuff. Yeah, it's not very good. The uh, Vietnam is the backside. All right. It's our first 90s 45 single. Another one is, uh, you saw this in a video from like a few years back when I'm driving to the beach and there's Crockett's theme by Jan, by Jan Hammer. Crockett's theme is, uh, I think it's better than, uh, Miami Vice theme. This is from the... LP Escape from Television. The uh, B side. This doesn't have a B side. This is a yeah. This is a promo copy. See, promotional copy, not for sale. Those white labels usually indicate if you don't see that promotional side. Also, that star thing right there. So, all right. Next one is a uh, Springsteen, 1986. These are uh, these are live songs. Uh, War is the beast is the is the A side, and then uh, Merry Christmas Baby is the B side. Both of these are from War is from that uh, live 1975 to 85 LP box set, but Merry Christmas Baby was um, actually I think that's a studio recording. I've heard it before, but it's been a long time. It's not very good. 
Okay. Columbia label. There it is. War. Hooah! What is it good? It reminds me of that uh, uh, public access TV clip by the legendary Ken Sander from 1990. Let's take a look at another Springsteen. This one's interesting because it's a uh, this is from 1987. It's a Tunnel of Love 45. There's a, I kind of like that little cartoon picture right there. An ominous, looking forward to a thrilling time. There's a picture of him with Patty. You can't see her face, but that's her. And then the the, uh, the ticket. The B-side is uh, Two for the Road, which is not on the LP, Tunnel of Love. But it's on, it showed up on the... Uh, 1998 box set uh, tracks and it's kind of interesting because it has the lyrics for both songs like even the b-side that was a dollar 56 at one time somewhere next one is a great band called flock of seagulls and the this, this song wishing i had a photograph of you the b-side is a Committed. I'm not gonna check all these. Sometimes I just want to see. Uh, so that's a that's a real copy right there. Um, little tear on the tear on the scene. All right. The next one, if if uh, J Weed or Bears does not have this, I'm gonna say some Bears fan. Well, there it is. The Super Bowl Shuffle. Right there. Um, See if I can name the people here. So we got Willie Galt. We got a, I think it's a cornerback or a running back. Uh, I think this is Garrett Fensick. There's the refrigerator. There's Will, uh, Richard Dent. This, I think, is Otis Wilson. This is Steve Fuller, the backup quarterback. This is, of course, Mike Singletary. This is Jim McMahon. This is Walter Payton. Willie Galt. So the only one I don't know the name of is this one. There were more than these, I think, in the video. Bear Scott. Number 27, it looks like. It's either a backup running back or it's a like a cornerback or guy in the secondary. And then, uh, oh, here we go. <laughs> Mike Richardson. I don't know if that's the, uh, I got, all, I got um, 9 out of 10. That's pretty good. The Super Bowl Shuffle. I don't know what position Mike Richardson was, though. Uh, was there a B-side? Let's see, the Super Bowl Shuffle, and... No. It's like a, I think it, they're both the same. 5 minutes, 30 seconds. And 5 minutes, 50 seconds. Huh, okay. So it looks like... Okay. There we go. Bear Scout! Next we have a duet. This might be the only duet 45 I have. Kenny Rogers, Dolly Parton. Islands in the Stream, written by Barry Gibb. Um, written by all the Bee Gees. I thought it was just Gibb. And then the B-side is uh, I Will Always Love You. Which is, um, which is not the Dolly Parton song. Interesting. And it's just Kenny Rogers solo. From his eyes that see in the dark. That's kind of interesting. So it's like a song title that Dolly did, but um, it's it's a different one. All right, uh, Islands in the Stream. This is from 1983. Next one is Bruce Springsteen, 1984, Born in the USA, which has the lyrics of Born in the USA on the back. And another B-side that does not appear on the Born in the USA LP called Shut Out the Light. Good acoustic uh, song. I think it was, um, I think that was originally like a Nebraska uh, outtake or something he was working on during Nebraska. It just sounds a lot like it. Also showed up on the Tracks 1998 LP. All right, this is a real outlier. The uh, Harry Simone Corral. Doing the Little Drummer Boy, backed with Hallelujah. Um, this is from probably the 60s. It doesn't say. 
but uh, it's got a lot of wear. You can see that. You can see a lot of wear on there. But um, this is something that probably what's the label again? The Cap label, Joe Cap, no hit. Uh, yeah, I, I want to say this is late '60s, maybe. Could be wrong on that. Next one is uh. The theme of uh, intoxicated portly ladies across America called uh, Walking on Sunshine by Katrina and the Waves. The year is 1985, the B-side, going down to Liverpool. I don't even know if this was a, is this a British band? I don't think so. Katrina Laskinich. Okay. They had a female lead guitarist. Oh, okay. All right. All right, next is... Uh, this is just a cool, like, horror fest type of 45 cover. Cindy Lauper, The Goonies Are Good Enough. It's a pretty lousy song from the, from the film The Goonies. 1985 was the release of this 45, back with, uh, back with What a Thrill, which was also... Cindy Lauper. All right. Let's see if you can. I don't know who that actor is right there because I think I've seen this movie, but I'm. I know Feldman's in there somewhere, but. All right. On the Epic label. Next one is uh, the Cutting Crew. That is a British British <laughs> British band. I just died in your arms from uh, 1986 seven. It's got two dates on there. I mean, originally, originally 1986 on Siren, and then 87 on Virgin. This is the Virgin release. Uh, for the longest, for the longest time, is the B side. I think that's the B side that I. Yeah, it's an interesting. That's an interesting cut right there. For the longest time, kind of a weird song, but I remember I found it, discovered it one time on the back of this, and. Kind of interesting, so and I'm sure you're some of you are familiar with that hit song. I just died in your arms tonight, as you are with the 1982 song. This has a a uh, plastic sleeve over it too. The uh, the tubes. She's a beauty. Let's see if it has a B side. Uh, B side is when you're ready to come. The tubes have kind of a cult following, and they I think a lot of the, their fans would say this is like. Not even their best song, but I've never really heard much about the Tubes. But this is their biggest hit, 1983. Okay. I think the album came out in 82, but yep, she's a beauty. I don't know if that's considered new wave. I think it is. All right, next one is the uh, one that uh, Big Buell knows all about. Frank Sinatra theme from New York, New York. Came out in... Uh, 1980, backed with uh, That's What God Looks Like to Me, Frank Sinatra. All right, Joey Scarberry, The Greatest American Hero. I mean, wait, wait. Um, yeah, the theme from The Greatest American Hero, believe it or not, believe it or not, I'm walking on air, backed with a little bit of us. Yeah, this is uh, 19, uh, 1981, Joey Scarberry. Here comes another Springsteen. This is the... Okay, this is a single off the LP, Tunnel of Love, from 1980s. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, the release of this was from of this single was uh, 1988, One Step Up. And the B-side is the better song, Roulette, which is not on Tunnel of Love, but it's, um, it's a live song. It's, this is not a live recording, but it's one of these done live quite a few times this is the studio version that's also on tracks 1998 and again he puts the lyrics of the a and b side on there this is one step up bruce springsteen all right the next one is from the 2000s this is a uh, jimmy Eat world pain the b side is called shame and this is from 2004 I think this is a color disc. Let me check. 
Yes, it is. As you look at the B-side of Shame, it's a clear, what you call clear vinyl. It's not completely clear, but you can see Bruce's face through it. Right there, you don't see many clear vinyl releases. 2004, Pain, Jimmy Eat World. This, is, this was in, a song in trivia last night in, on Billboard. The 1985 hit Part-Time Lover by Stevie Wonder. Um, you can see right there, This is it says promotional copy. This is a promo. Lyrics on the back. This is the uh, Tomla label. Promo copy. Let me see if there's a difference here. It's from in square circle LP. So the side one is 343. Side two is 343. So it's the same release. I've got the 12-inch uh, single of this, and it has different mixes of it. Stevie Wonder, part-time lover. All right, this is from 1984. Uh... The band is An Emotion. The song is Obsession. This is uh, more new wave stuff. Turn uh, Turn Around is the B-side. It's on the Mercury label. That is an odd-looking lead singer right there. I think she was, like, with Richard Marks at one time. That is a really, right here, really strange British band here. An Emotion. Next we have um, Patrick Swayze. The, the hit the song is She's Like the Wind, which is from uh, this, I guess this is from the uh, the soundtrack of Dirty Dancing. Yeah, it should say it on the thing. Uh, produced by Mike Curb. Yep, so from the Dirty Dancing soundtrack from uh, 1987, the B side is the uh, 60s, I want to say 60s, could be late 50s, hit song Stay by Mars, Maurice Williams and the Zodiacs. Okay, which is all, so it's just two songs that are on the uh, Dirty Dancing soundtrack. All right, um, here's Paul Simon, Late in the Evening. This is 1980. Yeah, 1980. Backed with one trick pony. Phil Ramone on the co producing. Okay. On the uh, Warner Brothers label. From the motion picture, from the new Paul Simon album in motion picture, one trick pony. Okay. So it's from the LP One Trick Pony, but also it was in a movie called that. Never, never heard of it. Backed with How the Heart Approaches What It Yearns. This was one dollar and thirty-seven cents back in the day. It's probably worth about a quarter now. Mike and the Mechanics from 1999, The Living Years, backed with uh, too many, too many friends. It has the Living Years lyrics. Okay, Mike Rutherford, composed by Mike. He wrote it. Mike Rutherford. I had a big thing with Ace over this, but the lead singer on this, I. I'm pretty sure it's Paul Carrick. I'm pretty sure it's Paul Carrick. Someone can look that up. The uh, the writer is uh, Mike is uh, Mike Rutherford and A. Robertson. Yeah. All right. Uh, the band here is Murray Head and. This is from 1984, uh, One Night in Bangkok. The back, the B-side, Mirano. From the album, Chess. What label is this? Oh, it looks like a... It looked like a promo copy because it's white, but it is not. Fast Times kicks off with this one. We got the beat by the Go-Go's. Got some writing on the cover. Someone was doing some accounting work. The IRS label. The uh, B-side is a song called uh, Can't Stop the World. Pretty decent song. The back, um, you can see drums on the front. The back has a picture of the Go-Go's. This is from like 1982. And uh, 
lists the band members right there. All right, we got the beat. Um, the next one is, uh, I just did a lengthy video on this artist, George Harrison, When We Was Fab. Got a picture of him younger, picture of him night and when this was released. Um, let's see. It was released on the, uh, the dark, there's the Dark Horse label right there. When We Was Fab. A hit song from 1987. The B-side is called uh, Zigzag, which is a uh, almost instrumental. It's it was co-written Harrison and Lynn. Um, I tell you what, I've I feel like I've lost my got my mind set on you and uh, back with lay his head forty five. It's around here somewhere, but I can't find it. But this is the when we was fab forty five zigzag, uh, not on the Cloud Nine LP. It was a B side only. It's been released on like subsequent uh, rarity. LP limited releases since then. Okay, let's do another Starship. This is Sarah. 1986 release off the LP, Knee Deep in the Hoopla. The B-side is uh, Hearts the World, we'll understand. I know you'd think I'd have more 45s of this group, but then you see the band members, which I went into great length <laughs> details on a... Uh, on a series on Jefferson Starship. Starship, Pete Sears going, what am I doing here? 19, this is 1985 on the Grunt label, but this was, the singles released in 1986. Let me make sure this is the, this is not a promo copy. It's not, there's Hearts of the World, we'll understand, and there's the Grunt label, which you're probably familiar with the design of if you watch those uh, Starship videos all right here's one here's uh here's duran duran the reflex and this is an interesting one because limited edition poster sleeve 45 this is not just a picture sleeve 45 Not this boys b-side is a uh, new religion this came out in uh 1984 wow they list the date February 4th, 1984. That's kind of wild. All right, so let's take a look here. So, if <laughs> this looks like something straight out of, like, 80s movies, or maybe on uh, Violet's uh, wall in the Nut House in Friday the 13th Part 5, she had all those, like, new wave band <laughs> posters and stuff. Yep, this is probably something that many uh, many girls in the uh, mid '80s had on their wall in the room, <laughs> right here. The forty-five poster sleeve, and all the band members, and on the back, there's really it's nothing but kind of cool. All right, the next we have two four, uh, forty-five picture sleeves only. These are without the. These are without the actual record, as you can see. Okay. Uh, the first one is a uh, one that shocks voice. People have heard them sing this many times. The karaoke. Just melting their hearts with lady willpower. Uh, the year. Um, it probably doesn't say. Yeah, so the year on lady willpower was, I think, 1968. At the latest, maybe 67. And the B-side is Daylight Stranger, which is also a good song. The LP, I forget the LP. I've got it, but I'm not going to look it up. There's the Union Gap. And there's the uh, guy with from whom I get my wire club and AOL name from, Gary the General Puckett. Uh, Gary Chater is right there. And I forget some of the other guys, but... All right, and then this one I showed in my closing Rick Nelson LPs video. Uh, this is from, I think, 1961. It's uh, it's Teenage Idol as the as the A side. 
And it's kind of strange because he was like 21 when he put this out. And it's got a uh, it's got a cover, a protective cover, but it didn't help it from being, from being uh, ripped right here. <laughs> and uh, the B side is uh, I've got my eyes on you. This is the Imperial label. You can see really small right there, Imperial Records. Let me see if there's. Yeah, it's the only place you see it. And then the interesting thing about this is it's got the uh, this thing to Arlene Young. It's autographed Rick Nelson. I don't know. I don't have a way of verifying if this is real or not. I could. I guess you could Google like signatures and see if they match to see if it's close. But pretty sure that's his signature. Arlene Young, if you're out there, I'm sorry, Art to Arlene. Yours, Rick Nelson. Okay. So I thought it said Arlene Young to Arlene. I wonder if she's still alive out there. I could, uh, if she is and she remembers him signing this, just um, contact me and I'll FedEx this to you. FOC, of course. Next we have uh, we have three uh, EPs. Okay, so this one is called uh, 12 Top Hits. This is a thing that was a uh, Put out by Promenade. It looks like it's from the maybe early 60s. And uh, <laughs> 99 cents. A deal. Okay, so there's the songs right there. And uh, Wings of a Dove. Alright, for those of you not familiar, this is what an, this is what an EP looks like. The, there's the Promenade. Label. It almost looks like a reissue. They're in such great condition. It's not, though. You can tell because it's so... These real hard 45s, which is a clear sign that they were made at the early 60s at, at the latest. Um, it's And they don't, they don't mention the artists on here. I don't think they're all original artists. In fact, I don't think any of them are. Like, dedicated to the one I love is not the Shirelles. It's someone else. Blue Moon. Not the Marcells, it's someone else. So, um, I feel like there was one on here that I really liked. But, um, I just hang on to it, it's kind of a collector's thing. Alright, and, and then on the EPs, you can see in the grooves, see how there's three songs on one side. That's about the most you can do for an EP, three songs. Kind of short songs. You can see the, right there, you know. The breaks between the songs so that's what an ep is boys let's take a look at the other ep one of the other eps yeah right, this is another one just like that 12 top two but this, this has a gate fold it's kind of a hard more like cardboard type of thing unlike the flimsy paper one from that one 12 type top tunes another ep this has 12 songs i might be missing well we'll see so let's open the gatefold. This is on the this is on the Hi-Fi Tops label. Let's open the gatefold. <laughs> All right. So there's. Yeah, I guess that's how you play it. It's like a long, young Jerry Lee Lewis right there. Tops Records. All right. Let's see what they look like. All right. So you have two seven-inch forty-fives, and you have three songs on each side, giving you a total of twelve. Six hits on each each record. This one lists the artists on there. And so these this. Shows you right here that these songs are not original. They're like covers. They're by these kind of rare, strange artists. Like uh, Tijuana Jail is not Kingston Trio. It's Bob and Dave. Tell Him No is not the... Uh, I forget who the original. Exciters, maybe. The Lindy Brothers. I mean, these are just... You could look these artists up. and I don't know if they were even known nationally, but... Come Softly to Me was not the Fleetwoods on version. It's the which is original version. It's the Toppers. Kansas City, not Wilbur Harrison, not Tommy Paris. Um, let's look at the other one. Fool Such as I. It's some strain. The Toppers seem to be one that appear multiple times here. Uh, personality. Instead of Lloyd Price, you have Leroy Collins and the Toppers. So this thing, the Toppers, was a this weird like cover band maybe they did like this was got they did like college concerts and stuff you can really see the grooves on here the, the uh breaks in between the songs so uh again don't doesn't have a year most of these early things they don't list years but 
This is definitely, this could be late 50s. I mean, <laughs> look at that. Okay. And this one is a, is a, last EP is a Christmas one. This is a Bing Crosby. The, the title, this is an, an EP title, which is called Merry Christmas. And it's got a, okay, eight songs on it. And there's two with the Andrews sisters. Uh, there's just a lot of information in here about uh, different L different EPs. So, kind of plugging different EPs. And it looks like it's a DECA release. Yep, DECA. This is DECA, e DECA EPs. Plug, I'll be home for Christmas. Faith of Our Fathers. So this has got two. Jingle Bell, Santa Claus is coming to town. White Christmas, God Rest You Merry Gentlemen. Silent Night, Adeste Fideles, Come All Ye Faithful. On the other side, this is in pretty good condition on the, on the uh, 45 EPs. All right, let's move on to the, this will be the last thing. I'm going to show the uh, picture disc 45. None of these have sleeves, but I think you're going to like these. Ready? First one is uh, the Go-Go's again. <laughs> and this one is a song I'm not even familiar with, Automatic. And then the B-side is Tonight. This is from 1982, the same same as uh, We Got the Beat. All right. That's the automatic side. I think that's the automatic side. This is the B side. <laughs> um, this is made on purpose, so when it, it's kind of cool to see it, you know, when it's spinning. <laughs> um, like they're on one of those rides, like an Omen 4. All right. All right, there you go. Automatic. Next one is uh, Gideon's Glory. Here you go, Yosef. You're going to love this one, dude. From 1979, Dance the Night Away. Van Halen is the group. Out of Love Again is the B-side. It's got the uh, classic VH logo. And then on the other side, a cool picture of David Lee Roth. Um, with his hand at the center of the, <laughs> the 45 hole right there. Van Halen. Next one, can you guess which group this is? Time's up. It is The Cars. And the song, the A-side, is uh, My Best Friend's Girl, written by Rick Okasik. Okasik. And then the B-side is Moving in Stereo. O Okasik and Hawks. This is from 1978 on the Electra label. Picture disc 45, The Cars. All right, next we have a, a rare, I think it's a German 45 picture disc and it's a uh, Dee Dee and Die Hirsch Hirschritt Smocker. I don't know if that's a duo but this appears to be the songs Ween Dean Hers and Modern um, the B-side is just the same picture with no with nothing else on it except for the cut number the record take I've never listened to this. I don't know what kind of music it is. All right. And then we have uh, two more. Here's another. This is a very strange one. This is called, uh, the group is Strawberry Switchblade. The year is 1985 on the Wii Records. I'm not familiar with that one at all. Um, Beautiful End, I believe, is the A side. I believe. And then the... B side is let her go. There's the one. But the strange thing about this 45, you can see the groove start here. So this is like that's the 45, but look at the shape. <laughs> so it it probably doesn't fit on some smaller 45 like little kids 45 record players. I don't know. Or, or you know. 
but that's kind of weird. So we get a strawberry right there on the uh, what appears to be the A side. I don't know what kind of I don't know what kind of band this was or what they. I don't know what kind of music it is, but all right. Well, uh, final one, last but not least, and this is a good one. You ready? All right, the A side. The Beatles, something from 1969. Got the picture right there at the in this building. We've probably seen variations of this before. Um, this is obviously not a 1969 release. It's probably uh, I don't know if I can find a year on this, but. The B-side is Come Together. Okay, 1989 is when it was put out. It's got the Abbey Road cover on the picture cover. Uh, <laughs> picture that was on Abbey Road on the something side. Actually, it looks like something is the A-side. But they've got... Um, and I can, You can't tell which one is which until you put it on there. Something written by Harrison. Come Together, Lennon and McCartney. There's the... Uh, Put out by Apple Corpse, Parlophone. Uh, there's the uh, 28 If. 28 If He Was Alive. He's, he's clearly dead in that photo. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. We had picture sleeve. We had 45 picture sleeves. We had a couple of 45 picture sleeve only. We had uh, a few... 45 EPs, and then we had a handful of 45 picture discs. All right. Thanks for watching, and happy record hunting.